Okay, I want to talk about finances in the Philippines because this one's quite a key one and I always get negative responses with this. It's a mix of positive and negative. A lot of this comes back from false face. I remember a bowling event I went to. There's all these 40 something women with their fake Prado handbags and their uh, husbands with their second hand Pajeros. And they're sitting around there as if they're multi millionaires. Because from them, for them, they've, they've come from the shack up to a two bedroom, three bedroom house. And for them, that's a big leap. But they haven't had to do anything for it. They're living on the husband's pensions. They haven't done anything. And their husband's actually retired. So it's stuff he did before they even met. It's all financed by the, his previous achievements. But they make it an industry. They push forward. Look, marry an old guy. Get his cash, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I'm fine with it. I mean, I just don't like the way they, they market it. Because A, it puts a strain on relationships, but B, there's a whole thing that happens behind this. First one is it encourages other people to do exactly the same. But secondly, they're telling everybody they've got all this money. So then they get all their nieces, nephews, aunts, cousins, um, kids, their kids' kids, all needing funding. And it's all getting siphoned away from the poor old husband. Um, where they can, um, whether it's for the school fees, for the um, medical costs for something, they're getting, they're siphoning money and it's all because of false face. And the same goes on with RFWs, you'll get somebody over in Dubai or whatever, taking the picture, going, look how great I am, I'm out here, forgetting the 12 hours that they're slaving away cleaning bedrooms or whatever it is they do um, and it's all drummed up that they have a great life overseas um, and the reason I find it quite hard is I'd rather people said you know don't think I'm living so bloody great I live in a worker camp with another 5,000 people um, I have a shared bathroom with those 5,000 I have a shared shower block with those 5,000 that gives people a bit of perspective because what happens in the Philippines because money is so easy to come by because you, you, your aunt or uncle's out in Dubai and they pay for your schooling and your shoes and give you an allowance every month you think they get money anyway it's easy look at them they're always happy and everything else yeah they're loving it um, but if they were loving it so much do you think they'd be there for 25 years working in the desert? Or do you think they'd be back in the Philippines within five years because they make so much money they were already retired? Because for the average Filipino, they don't even think about it. They just see this money as free money and easy to come by because they never earned it. And as an expat, you should discourage free money. If somebody wants something from me, they work for it. I don't care what they do. But they'll work for it. Nobody gets free money. Nobody appreciates free money. Um, and I would say it's probably going to be one of the bigger, biggest stickling points with your new partner. Because a lot of families expect to have some sort of payout from you. Um, you do not have to have one. There's no law. It's not written into your uh, marriage certificate. It's not even in your um, culture. A, a marriage is two cultures colliding uh, for positive and negative. So when they say, well, that's in our culture, it's not in mine. I don't care. You know, work, work out a solution. But the fact is, don't ignore it. But also be aware that things have a bigger impact. I was saying with the snapshot where people are doing great abroad, it, it gives a false image in the Philippines. That's why they use this whole heroes thing. Um, it's it's a marketing ploy um, because RFWs work extremely hard, do some some of the worst jobs on the planet, and at the same time, 
are exploited to the max. Um, and for OFW's rights, and for OFW's actually be recognised that they, this money isn't easy to earn. They give up decades um, to support their families, and I would much rather people respected them for that than going, oh look, they've got nice pictures, of they've been here and there. You need to change the attitudes, and it starts with your own family. Um, that's why it's important. You know, and it, I would rather a thousand people took it on board to actually try and change one person than just accepted, well, that's just the way it is, you know. Because if a thousand people change one person and turn around and said, well, you do realise your aunt's been abroad for 24 years now. She only comes home at Christmas every two years. What life is that? She doesn't see her family. She's missed her children growing up. Um, and she's had to pay for your education and you're not even directly related. You're, you're an extended member of her family. The truth hurts, I admit, but at the same time, it's all part and parcel of getting people to take responsibility for themselves. Alright, thanks for watching.